Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator where we have a few things that we're working on. We would like to improve our economy a little bit, but our economy is, I think, in the category of reasonably fine. We're also working on bringing up our research efficiency, although I think that's also mostly in the category of reasonably fine at this point. Um, I don't want to pay that kind of gold. Hmm. Military service for unintegrated. So that would be in the laws. We need to take a look at what this would do. Let's see here. That's in government laws. So this would institute military service for un unintegrated culture happiness. Okay. So that would take us off of Royal Guard and put us onto military service, which would get rid of our legion. No. We decline. That is not going to happen. Okay. So we have this provincial investment going in here. The idea being that we're able to import food. Uh, we don't need it right now, but at some point we might. We probably will, actually. I also would like to get this city set up to be another research city. So basically every city on our initial island here of Lanka, all of these are going to be set up as research cities. That's the overall concept. Commercial ventures. Yes, that is that import route. Okay, so we'll get this academy built here. This library has been built. That's great. So we're noting that this is currently dropping. Not necessarily ideal. Ah, this guy's disloyal. Yeah, that, that would be the case. We're going to bribe him. He is no longer disloyal. Get back to your location. Stop marching, nerd. So we're thinking about attacking up over here, right? And have we already fabricated a claim? No, we have not. I don't want to declare this without a CB. Hang on. Let's not do that. Um, we need to fabricate a claim. We are working on it. Right, right, right. Okay. So that seems okay. We need to start moving these guys up eventually. Hmm... I feel like we can move them up to here for now. We'll get them moving up this way. And that'll be okay. I want to come down over here and definitely continue to work on building these academies. So as soon as we have the cash, which will be next month tick right now, which is also a year tick, we'll get that queued up. Perfect. Okay. So what else do we need to work on here? Well, we're mostly just waiting on this to finish up. These guys are no longer occupied by this revolt, but all of these will be in this. The revolt and Carusa are in this defensive pack together. Okay. There's also this uninhabitable location here. Interesting. Okay, that seems reasonably fine. We'll go we're going to go after Kuntala, but not while they have this alliance going on. Unless we find a time when Shunga would not decide to join. We're not going to do it right now, obviously. So we're going to head up this way instead. And that should be fine. I think we're going to be able to take all of this without a problem. Pop cap and food modifier sounds good. We are going to continue to work in our, or in our civic advances, I believe. Yeah, we wanted to grab this national citizen output here. So we'll go ahead and take that. Fantastic. And we're at 124. That number definitely used to be higher. Okay. Uh, 100 gold for him. Or we gain 10% tax. We're going to take the tax, thanks. <laughs> no doubt about that one. Cool. So, what is our actual attack plan here? Will we have access through the Magadan Empire? I don't know. Let's move these guys up over to here for now. And we'll move up like so. Okay. Slightly awkward that we walked here, 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 rather than here, here, where the road is, but whatever. We can definitely come down over here and queue up the third academy. 
So there we go. That's underway. How are we doing? 130. Okay, not too bad there. Gaining 5 stability or losing 5 stability but gaining gold. We're going to take the gold. We are definitely going to take the gold. Okay, so we have our claim. And we're going to build these libraries right now. Then we're going to declare this war, I think. Carusa and the Kalingian Revolt are kind of irrelevant to us. Do it. So our army maintenance is low. We're going to bump our army maintenance up. And we're going to head up over here. Do we have access to the Magadan Empire? No, we do not. Okay. So that's fine for the moment. There's only so much that we can do right now. So I guess we'll move these guys up to, like, Jagdalpur. Sure. Interesting that we're already at minus one in terms of the... Yeah, they already have ticking. Okay, that's wild. That's fine, though. No major problems there. This academy is going to be done being built soon enough, and the libraries will follow along behind. Only 105? Why did that drop so much? Okay. Well, somebody just died of dysentery, and we're going to go ahead and put in this guy. Cool. And we win this battle. So we begin our siege. We're going to park these guys in Jagdalpur. And we're going to need to move up over this way as soon as we can. But the fort is going to have to fall first. There's no way around that. We do need a new martial researcher. We have no scorned families, so this guy will be the one. And our martial research is going to finish shortly here. So do we grab, like, curb the tax collectors to get additional manpower? Possibly. Did this drop due to the happiness from that event? That's a possibility. I think that's a very distinct possibility. In which case... We would want to grab, like, Open Religion to help offset that. Yeah. Both of these would be decent to have. We'll grab Open Religion for the moment, and we'll see if that does anything on this front. I'm thinking it has to do with the happiness. That's the current theory. It's definitely improving. Okay. We'll keep an eye on that. Okay. So this siege is going to be done shortly. After we're done with the siege, we walk up to Polly and we walk up here. Okay. We actually won the siege there. So we're going to immediately head up to Polly, and these guys are going to immediately head up to Yajatinagara, and we'll have no problem defeating this force whatsoever. It should be okay. So in we go there. Yep, we stack wiped them, as expected. Our allies are finally making their way up. Hilarious. We do need another title here, and that is going to be this guy. Beautiful. So we'll see if we end up catching this force anywhere. It's not a threatening force. So for the moment, it should be okay. And we find ourselves at 36% war score. We're looking to annex this whole area. The whole thing. Avakana is prospering. Cool. So that sounds good. 113, huh? We'd definitely like to see that number come up. Hmm. Gaining popularity is maybe not the worst thing here. We have we're at 13 popularity. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to fight and defeat these guys. They get stack wiped. We're just kind of running amok here. There's nothing they can do about us. So that's great. We're going to get these sieges done relatively quickly in theory.
relatively quickly. 28% here, that's not bad, okay. Well, minus 28%, but yeah, that's, that's what I meant. <laughs> okay, we could definitely come down over this way and work on forums. I'm definitely okay with doing that, spending our money on getting manpower at this point. I feel like we are, mm, what do we want here? Losing, actually gaining popularity for us would probably be good. Our ruler is, I know it's in here somewhere. Nation overview. Our ruler is one of these people. Government, there we go. This is the current ruler, okay. So that would be reasonably fine. Gaining 15 popularity, I think is okay. We'll do that. Cool. We're back up to 124 research efficiency. That's good. Okay, minus 28%, minus 21%. So the sieges are ongoing nicely. Once we have these sieges done, it's not going to be very long until this war is over. That's for sure. I do want to check in on potential slave estates and mines. We should probably save gold for building that up. Uh, yeah, one of our armies is lacking food. That's not shocking. They're going to take heavy attrition while they're doing this siege. That's fully expected. And this is why we're treating these as two separate armies now, instead of having them all together. Because attrition is going to be a problem. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. We're going to work up these sieges here. 14%. Good progress. Okay. I like it. What does this one get to? Minus 7. Okay. We're getting there. 35? What are they going to do? Come siege here? I don't care about that. Yeah, I guess they are. That's hilarious. Why would they do that? I mean, they can't really do anything. So what are they going to do other than that? You know? Like, there's not anything they can do. So we're going to go take this city here. That will ensure that we have control over this entire state. And this is going to be good. We're looking to take their entire territory. Full annexation here. This siege is now over. And these guys are going to make their way down here just in case. As are these guys. So we're going to get all of these auto-capped. Beautiful. We didn't auto-cap this because these guys are retreating there. Kind of rude. But do we have enough to take what we want right now? The answer is yes. We can take absolutely everything here. Okay. Consider it done. How much AE will this be? 25? Should be acceptable. Cool. We will lose 1.5 aggressive expansion there. And these guys are now going to head down to here, where they will, of course, park. And these guys are going to come park all the way down here. There we go. We're going to need to build roads up here eventually. Mostly, it's going to be... Yeah, that's not going to be too bad on the road build. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and grab our paradigm of economy, I think. Or do we want to go with research points here? That's an interesting question. I'm going to go with research points, and we'll see how that feels. Cool. We have starving pops up over here. Not shocking. We can definitely auto-import in some of these locations. So that'll be fine. We're going to make our way southward. I want to check in. There are no mines to build. There's only the one farming settlement. Any slave estates that actually produce anything? The answer is no. So there's not actually that much to build up here. Fascinating. Untiring devotion. Splendid. And... Hmm, I don't want to lose 18 gold right now. We do have a civil war brewing. Who is the main problem here? That would be this fine gentleman. And we're just going to bribe him. Done. No civil war. And we're, of course, going to look to build a forum down over here. Excellent. 
We're doing much better on our manpower now. Our economy is looking actually great, especially considering that we don't have that slave output going on. And 140 is our research efficiency. I love it. That's really, really solid. Okay. We want to continue to improve that, of course. Are there any further cities out over here that I don't actually know about? Wait a second. Slaves of Chakrarot. Okay. We're actually heading in there right now because this guy's disloyal and he's just taking care of it. <laughs> cool. Thanks, buddy. We'll leave him disloyal for now since he's, you know, doing exactly what I wanted him to do. Odd that we can't see the battle there, but we won it. They retreated, and we're going to fight them right here. He's just chasing them down. You know, for being disloyal, this guy isn't so bad. And I believe the Slave Rebellion is now over. So this guy, we want him to head all the way down to here, right? Or are you the one heading all the way south? You're the one heading all the way south. We can't bribe him because he was recently convinced. He is our rival. Okay. There's not a lot that we can do about him right now. Or, well, we could just remove rival. Ooh, national citizen happiness. Done. We're going to remove him as our rival. And now he's loyal. He's actually going exactly where I wanted him to go, but that's fine. Cool. So that looks good. We're going to come down over this direction and look at these cities. We'll build a forum here. This forum is complete, so we'll build a training camp. And that city is now maxed out. We can get an additional forum here once we have the cash. We do need a governor up over this direction, and we have a scorned family. So we're going to put in... Is there literally no one from the scorned family? No, this guy's from the Scorn family. It's just being covered up here. Awkward. Okay, so we'll put him in there. No more Scorn family. Fantastic. Okay, that guy gave in to frailty. That's fine. 146 is our research efficiency. So yeah, it definitely had to do with the happiness. I'm quite certain on that. Cool. So we should go into our religion here. Let's see. Okay, that's a maximum research efficiency there. Do we want to bump up our maximum research efficiency? It would be 25%. And I feel like that's a hard maybe. That would allow our maximum to be 175. So yeah, maybe. But I feel like we're probably better off getting this 2% integrated culture happiness. Most likely, yeah. That's what we're going to do for the moment, and we'll grab the others when needed. Uh, disband them immediately. Okay, so this guy is upset. He's a legate, and I don't think that really matters, so that should be okay. Now, I want to take these guys, and I want to split off. Oh, he's too disloyal to allow us to do that. Oh, he's 16. Hmm. Oh, we can bribe him. That brings him up to 31. We can try to make friends with him. We'll see how that goes. He's still disloyal at 31. Hmm. Yeah, buy and gift him to Chandragupta. Cool. So we'll see if we're able to make friends with him. We want to just use some of his troops to build roads up here, is all we're trying to do. We'll keep an eye on that and see how that's going. For now, of course, um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep paying political influence for that. I'm fine with that. I want to check in on our research efficiency. 146. 
really not bad. And there are no other cities over here that we can really work on. We now have a scorned family, and we should definitely do something about that. There we go. Cool. So these cities are all maxed out, right? Actually, our capital city is not. I'm wondering if we'd be better off building a great temple here. Primarily for the state religion happiness. Mm, 98.78% happiness right now with our nobles and citizens. I think we're better off with the library. Let's go ahead and build the library. That'll be fine. Only a tiger is sure to win him over. Indeed. So yeah, these, these cities are all maxed out at this moment. There's an accident. It's a lot of gold, but we can actually afford it. It's okay for now. Hey, we're friends with Chandra Gupta. Okay, so you need to turn around and head back up over here. Oh, he's still disloyal. Really? No, 46. He's not anymore. We just needed a month tick or something. He just needed to update. There we go. So we're going to move him back up over this direction. He'll go back to his station point, where hopefully he'll chill. <laughs> that would be nice if he would chill. So we're going to park him up over here, and we're going to use some of his troops to build our roads up here. That is our current priority. While we're waiting for some of this AE to drop. And we're just going to grab this here, and we are going to create a new unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then his unit of engineers. Ten. There we go. So these guys are going to go onto Build Road, with their goal being to come here, and then build like that, and then turn around, come up over this direction, and build out over like so. Coming out over this way, and then building down over here. Kind of like this. And we'll probably want a connection like that. And then I'd also like to make sure that there's one something like this. Which means that we should probably have a connection that goes out along the lines of that. And then if you're wanting to come this direction. It would go like that. There's a lot there, but that kind of makes sense to me. It'll take them a while to get that built, but uh, that'll be the orders. Cool. So they'll get that done eventually. How's our Trolla integration going? It's slow, is the answer. We are still about 14 years away from getting them integrated, but that is underway. Checking in on our pop count. Let's see. Let's go into this view. 2361. So we could definitely take Kuntala, right? We're less likely to be able to take Shunga. They're still in this alliance. Noted. We'll keep an eye on that and look for opportunities. Right now, we are not seeing those opportunities. And that's okay. This is Kuntalan Revolt here. That's going to get squashed very easily. I'm quite certain of that. And we probably shouldn't make moves on that just yet. 147? Okay, that's a reasonable research efficiency. I'm quite pleased with that. So we're going to have a religious advance next in about a year and a half. Okay. We're 47 years ahead of time in our tech right now. <laughs> our tech is doing well, no doubt about that. We're no longer importing cloth, sure. The question is, can Kuntala handle this revolt? And I think that the answer is an unequivocal yes. A breakthrough, five statesmanship, and we got an innovation. Beautiful. So we're going to use that to grab this integrated culture happiness. 
at this moment, I don't think that this research efficiency is needed. Eventually, we're going to want it. But right now is not the moment. I say as we're now at 150 research efficiency, and we could definitely go up a little further. Okay. So we definitely don't need to work on further research efficiency with us at the cap, or very close to it. Uh, now it's dropped off the cap. It fluctuates quite a lot. No doubt about that. It definitely fluctuates. Okay. Theological colleges would, I think, be pretty good to take. That's for sure. Population growth would be good as well. For the moment, I think this is all fine. We're going to be annexing Chola soon enough. That's only 152 extra pops. But for the moment, I think we need to chill until we spot an opportunity to take on the Magadan Empire or Shunga or Kuntala. We don't want to take all at once, that's for sure. Even two of them at once would likely be a little too much. Very likely. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to get these roads built. And we are also going to put in a governor over here. And apparently sneeze. Okay, that's all great. Uh, what family is this? Okay. So this guy is who we put in. Sure. We should probably switch him over to religious conversion. This as well. But as I was saying, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to get these roads all constructed. And we're going to get some of this converted on over eventually, I hope. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS, Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, and Lohan80, Kentogan, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Rogue Corvid, Anna the Elephant, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.